Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 7, focusing on the subtopic of 7.1, which is introduction to Halo Alkin. We're going to focus on two questions respectively, which is tutorial question 1 and tutorial question 2. So without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 1, we have to classify the following compound as primary, secondary, or tertiary haloalkane and give their Ayupic name. So for structure A, we were given this kind of structure. So first, we're going to classify the compound. So if we were to expand the structure, we will get CH3, CH2, C attached with a halogen. And this C here is going to be attached with CH3. And then this C here will have hydrogen and then attached with two metal group. Okay, so this stuff here is important and make sure you know how to expand it. Okay, and now we're going to classify the carbon or the haloalkane, whether it's tertiary, primary, or secondary. Okay. So for this case, um, we're going to look into the carbon that is attached to the halogen, which is this carbon here. Okay, this carbon here is attaching with one, two, and three alkyl group. And hence, we can say that this carbon here is a tertiary haloalkyl. Okay, and now we're going to do the IUPAC name. So for doing the IUPAC name, it is almost similar to the one that we have learned in the chapter of alkyl. So we need to find the longest carbon chain first. Carbon chain yang paling panjang. So if I were to start from here, I will get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 carbon. Okay? And I'm going to have two substituents. Okay? I'm going to have uh, three substituents. So my substituents is 1 here, 2 here, and 3 here. Okay, carbon chain paling panjang, then substituent dia adalah tiga. So now, we're going to do the naming for this um, haloalkin. So, the longest carbon chain going to be pentane. And then, the metal group going to attach at carbon number two and carbon number three. So, it's going to be dimethyl. Okay, and the fluorine, which is which start with letter F, gonna be at the front because we're gonna follow the alphabetical order. Okay, and the fluorine is attached at carbon number three, so you're gonna put it, it as three dash fluoro, and the dimethyl, which is two methyl group, gonna attach at carbon number two and carbon number three, so you're gonna do as dash two three dimethyl pentane. So the name gonna be three fluoro dash two three dimethyl pentane. Okay. Now for structure of B, um, we're going to identify the haloalkane. So for the classification of this carbon, it's going to be a primary haloalkane because this carbon here is attached with hydrogen, is attached with hydrogen, and then it is attached with CH2. And here is the long carbon chain here. And then this one is PR. So this carbon here is only attached with one alkyl group. And hence, it is a primary haloalkane. As for the naming, first we need to find the longest carbon chain. Carbon chain paling panjang. So, I think the best way we can start from the end here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we can go up or we can go straight. So let's say if I go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I only got 6 carbon chain. Okay. However, if I go straight, I will get 5, 6, 7. So I know that the longest carbon chain is going to be here. So not this one. So the CH2, CH2Br is going to be my substituent. Okay. So when we do the naming, we can name the longest carbon chain as heptane. And then at carbon number 4, it's going to attach with the substituent, which is, uh, this one is going to be labeled as carbon number 1, because number 4, here is number 1, and this one is number 2. So the substituent here is going to be named as 
bromo ethyl. Okay, so it is an ethyl group, but then because it contains a bromine atom, it's going to be bromo ethyl. Okay, and the bromo is attached at carbon 2 of the substituent, the rangkaian tu. So, at carbon number 4, they're going to be 2 bromo ethyl. So, you're going to name it as 2 bromo ethyl ethyl close the bracket and heptane. So, the name going to be 4-2 bromo ethyl heptane. Okay, and then you need to Close that with a bracket. Alright. Now for the general question 2, we have to draw the structural formula of the compound given, which is for question 2a, it is a third butyl bromide. So the third butyl bromide means that the substituent here is going to be a tertiary butane. So butane is going to have 4 carbon, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and it needs to be a tertiary butyl so that it is it is named as third butyl and then um, third butyl here is going to be the substituent because it is attached with a bromine okay so you can draw it as like this okay and you can also draw it in terms of the expanded structure to be given as here Alright, and for question 2b, we're going to draw one bromo, one isopropyl cyclobutane. So, the parent name is going to be cyclobutane. So, it's going to have four carbon in the cyclic compound. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the carbon here is going to be attached with bromine and going to be attached with isopropyl. So, isopropyl is going to have three carbon. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is known as isopropyl because it has three carbon and it is symmetry. Got one CH3 ups and one CH3 downwards. Okay, so you can draw it as this way and you can also draw, draw it as um, uh, this expanded structure here. Okay, so both of these are correct. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.